Hey everyone, my name is Aaron Tweet. Yes, pronounced tweet like a bird or tweet like Twitter. This channel is really a culmination of my desire to help educate and empower people to learn more, to see the insights of what's really going on in the world of finance, business, technology, and culture so that you can make the right decisions in life. You can make more money. You can have more agency and feel more control over the way you are living your life and how you're spending your time. Because I know for myself, there's been times where I didn't know what was going on or I got caught flat-footed in certain financial situations and I wish I knew what I know now. And so I wanna help everyone. I wanna help them decipher the headlines, see what's going on in finance, business, tech, real estate, crypto, all these things that are such powerful forces shaping our world and to me are just so much fun to be involved with. And it's so important to have at least a baseline level of knowledge in all of these topics so that you can manage your life when it comes to these aspects. You know, about me, I'm from the back deep woods of Alaska. I grew up in small logging camps with no electricity, uh, you know, carrying water and chopping firewood all summer to make it through the winter because the snow was so deep that you weren't gonna go anywhere. So my life was really one of which it was a lot of manual labor. And very early on, I realized I wanted something more. I wanted to be a part of something bigger. And I wanted to do things that were more than just reliant upon how good I could swing an ax or climb a tree, which is fun, by the way. But, you know, what that led me to was, you know, went to school in Colorado. And that was really fun because that was my first access with civilization, as I call it, you know, driving on a freeway for the first time. And the more and more I pushed into the real world, the big world, it was, yeah, it was scary at times, but it was so much fun. And what that ultimately led me to was starting to work as a financial advisor. Uh, one of my first jobs was working as a financial advisor. And while I studied for the Series 7 and 66 licenses that are required to become an advisor, I also worked for an oil and gas company uh, in Denver, Colorado. And so I did those two jobs at the same time right out of college. And I learned a lot, it was really fun. And to be a part of the financial advising world, I started to see how you know, the stock market works and how insurance and annuity contracts worked. And you know, I started to see how people get guided towards things that you know, maybe there's better options. So then after that, I ended up leaving Colorado and went to California where I became an art dealer. So completely changed careers. And uh, it was a lot of fun being an art dealer Got to work with some artists um, and some athletes that were you know, pretty prominent, but the irony was I didn't really, like I knew who they were, but I didn't have a, a deep you know, passion or, or you know, fan love for them because I grew up in Alaska and you know, really didn't see them that much because I didn't have electricity. So it was kind of odd to just jump into that space and be like, wow, I'm sitting at the table with some of these really key people uh, in the sports or art world, um, but I was you know, just happy to be there, happy to learn from them, happy to learn from the people that were in the business that I was in doing those things that were creative and entrepreneurial endeavors. So that took me up to about um, 2008, 2009 uh, in my life. And as you probably recall, there was a huge financial crash and the big recession in the job market. And at that time, I wanted something different. You know, and I've been learning things and started to trade the stock market and, you know, get, in that, get, in, uh, get a sense of what was really going on in the world. But I knew it was time to dive in something and I wanted to be a part of a larger company, you know. And so it was a really tough time, though, to get a job in 2008 and 9. So I put on my suit, printed out a bunch of resumes, and I had made a list of companies I really wanted to work for. And I started walking into buildings. This was in LA. So I went to downtown LA, Century City, uh, and uh, Santa Monica, and the Water Garden area. And I walked into 225 different companies over three days. And I only got kicked out by building security once. And that was probably some of the most fun I've ever had looking for a job, to be honest. Uh, but ultimately, the result of that story was there were a couple of times I went into you know, big towers downtown LA, and it's always like Fort Knox. And they say, you know, you have to have an appointment to be here. Why are you here? And I was able to influence them and say, I'm looking for a job, and I'm looking to make direct contact with a hiring manager at these specific companies. And 
there was a couple of times where they scanned me into the elevator and sent me up to the executive floors. And I was able to make a contact there and got a card for somebody recruiting and called that guy um, and built a relationship. And this led to the next phase of my career, which I think really helped me be able to decipher the headlines and the things that you guys will be seeing and that we'll be talking a lot about on this channel. But my next job was as an executive compensation analyst for a Fortune 500. This was really fun, really interesting, determining what the CEO makes, what the board makes, what top management makes, and just being able to see into all layers of the organization. You know, after that, I continued that compensation career uh, into a very prominent video game company. And so seeing how, you know, all, all the creative roles and the software development roles are compensated and, you know, all those decisions that are important to make in an employee's life cycle in a big publicly traded video game company. And then ultimately that, that led to uh, the next company, a very prominent uh, aerospace company whose founder has a big presence online and also runs an electric car company simultaneously. I'll let you do the math. But all these things come together to make it a really a journey I've had in corporations, technology, that I feel ready now to help, help a lot of people advance their own careers, advance their own wealth, advance their own knowledge in making strategic moves so that they can be better off. And the, the onslaught of you know, headlines and misinformation and things that are coming out in the media, really all of our lives, but I think it's intensifying and getting more and more prominent. I wanna do my best to be here for you guys to make those truths revealed under the headlines that may be misleading or are something that you know, we should really at least be thinking about until we find the right answer. So if you can, I appreciate you subscribe to the channel and I appreciate you watching and start to check out the videos below. Thank you.